Now to day three of the UAW strike on General Motors, and it has been one busy day. Let's get you caught up here at the 5 o'clock hour. Both sides back at the negotiating table today, but as of this moment at least, no apparent breakthrough. But we're starting to see the ripple effects from the strike as Canadian auto workers get laid off. Rod Maloney has been following a number of angles today. Let's start, though, Rod, with what's happening in Canada. Yeah, Devin, you know, the dominoes starting to fall. 1,200 U.S. make that CAW members in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. They make trucks there, the uh, last generation uh, Sierra. And, uh, and, and so it's one of those things where you cut off the supply of parts here in America and the plants go down over there. We're also hearing tier three suppliers are getting some layoffs as well. All eyes are now here at the Rensen as they hope for a quick deal. The mighty, mighty union. The picket line fully populated. The spirits high at GM powertrain in Romulus. UAW Local 163 member Bobby Fields wanted the world to know. Everybody's hopeful and high and uh, banding together, working together to be out here on the picket line, supporting our leadership in their decisions. He has high hopes leadership will emerge from the Rensen with a much better contract. Addressing the temporary for more permanent positions, the, the pay uh, also with that. Pay raises are the stepping off point. How it gets divvied up is the issue. Lump sum payments in some years, percentage increases in others. It's usually how it goes. But how high is the next question? We don't know yet. Product in plants is certainly getting hammered out. Hamtramck and Lordstown front and center, they're likely to get product. We've already been told that. One thing we do know, there is a big item not likely to get cut and might improve is health care. This is a go to war issue for the union. Dr. Arthur Schwartz used to negotiate these contracts for GM. Now he's a consultant. He believes even though it's likely to cost GM a billion dollars a year. They're very proud of the fact that they provide virtually zero cost health care for their members. They've always told us that it's because uh, they gave up other things in order to maintain this, that this was very important for them. And uh, they're not going to give it up. Now, the negotiations ended fairly early last night, but they also resumed early this morning. One gauge as to how things are going. Do they go late into the night tonight? If that's the case, we're getting on to something. Back to you. Never a, a dull moment, of course, in these kind of matters. What was today's twist, Rod? Well, uh, Devin, there was a press release put out by the UAW uh, in this whole tit-for-tat that we've seen. Highly emotional rhetoric. We'll have that for you coming up.